Imagine, you just came back from holiday and now you're seeing a friend. And completely excited, enthusiastic, you start talking about the holiday, sharing a story, tell about how incredible the holiday was, how beautiful it was to spend some time with your friends, and all the cool things that happened on that holiday. But right when you stop your story, your friend is like, ah, oh, that's incredible. Something very similar happened to me two years back when I went to Italy. Dive into their story. How would you feel? You'd be like, why the heck did I even tell that story? She's not even listening. That's, that's not only one case. I'd say 99% of the people are really bad at listening. Obviously not you, right? You're an incredible listener. But most people, they suck at it. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five tips on how to become an incredible listener. Before we dive right into the tips, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. With that, let's go right into it. First tip, ground yourself. I know, most of us, we have very hectic lives, right? Every day is just back-to-back -back meetings, back-to-back -back hobbies, we're seeing one friend after the other, and then what happens is usually we go into this new interaction and we still think about the previous conversation. We are not there with our full presence, with our full attention, because there's so many things that are still going on in our mind. How can you avoid that? It's by grounding yourself right before the meeting. So I'd say, Take one or two minutes just to breathe deeply from the diaphragm. Notice your feet on the ground and feel the sensations on your body. That way you are immediately more present for when it matters. Next tip, set your intention. Right before you see someone, it is absolutely worth it to set your intention for that meeting. That your intention is that you're going to listen to that other person to truly, truly understand what is going on with them or in their lives. What I often do is, right before a meeting, I tell myself, I'm gonna listen to that person as if I was freaking Oprah Winfrey, right? I'm gonna listen to that person as if he or she was the most interesting person on earth. Just by repeating my intention a few times, I'm much more likely to make it a reality. Next tip, hold the silence. Instead of just jumping in with your story, the moment the other person stops talking, hold the silence. Wait for maybe one to three seconds before you say something. Now, why would you do that? because it shows that you're processing the information that is given to you. It also shows that you value their opinion, giving them more time to open up to you. Now, just as a heads up, this one is very awkward at first because we're always used to feel any silence that comes up. So at first our reaction is always to jump in, but doing that is an extremely powerful exercise that will make the other person feel more listened to. So give it a try. Next tip, ask clarifying questions. Instead of just jumping random from one topic to the other, go deeper into one specific topic. Ask clarifying questions. Let me share my three favorite questions that I ask all the time to get a better understanding what is truly, truly going on. You can say something like, um, interesting, can you tell me more about that? Um, can you explain that? I want to make sure that I really got this. Why do you think that was the case? It's very interesting. See, just a tiny question that allows the other person to go deeper into their story, to give you more context. Last tip, paraphrase what you've just been told. Now, when you listen to someone, your goal should be that the other person really feels listened to. But not only that, the other person should have the feeling, wow, she really gets me. It's such an pleasure to talk to her. That should be the feeling. How do you get there? It's by paraphrasing the stuff that you've heard. Some of the most important stuff. What are some sample sentences that you could use? Well, you could use something like, what I hear from you is X, Y, Z. Did I get that right? It seems like you're saying that X, Y, Z. Did I, did I understand that correctly? Wow, that must have been really challenging. Did you perceive it that way? Now, note, every time I'm not only paraphrasing, 
but I'm also asking them to confirm. I'm asking something like, is that right? That way I make sure that it's actually still a conversation and that I actually did understand them correctly. That's it. These are the five strategies to become an incredible listener. Now, the good thing with listening is that you can practice it pretty much anywhere and with anyone. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's your boss, your coworker, your customer, your mother, your grandmother, your dog. Oh no, well, dog is a little bit complicated, but you see, you can practice listening every day. So give it a try. You really have nothing, but really nothing to lose. If you enjoyed today's videos and you think that, ah, oh, Philip, I wanna see more of that content around listening, storytelling, or public speaking, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Wherever you are in the world, thanks a lot for watching. It has been an honor. Bye-bye.